Hi, I'm Mira. My friends and I, and our book, are going to help you transform Broward County. Because when everyone reads the same book on the same day, then uh, all of Broward County will be on the same page. It's called Read for the Record. And it happens on Thursday, October 25th. Volunteer to read at handsonbroward.org. Read for the Record is powered by the Children's Services Council of Broward County. Now that you are ready to volunteer for the Broward Reads for the Record event, here are a few easy tips on how to make the most of your storytelling experience. The most important tip to remember as a storyteller in a new classroom is just to have fun. The children in the room will pick up on your energy. If you start off enthusiastic and displaying a love of reading, they will follow your example. Before entering the classroom, read the book to familiarize yourself with the text. If there are characters, Practice trying to speak in different voices for the different characters. Use your voice to help students understand what's going on in the story. For example, if a character is excited or scared, change your voice to portray that emotion. Read the book's title by pointing to it and saying the author and illustrator's name on the cover. This helps children understand that people make books and that they can become writers and artists too. Right before starting to read the book, Model for children your excitement to start the story and the joy that reading brings. You can hold up the book, point to the cover, and ask the children, what do you think this book is about? Let them answer a bit and then say, let's see if our predictions are correct. You might say something like, I can't wait to find out what happens. As you read, make sure to hold book pages facing the children so they can see the pictures. Read slowly and loudly. Before turning each page, Show the pictures to all the children from side to side so everyone gets a chance to see what is happening in the pictures. Choose several places to stop and ask the children a simple question about what is happening in the story. You can mark these points with a post-it note or a business card so you remember to stop. You can even jot your question for the class on the card. Simple questions really help young readers engage with the text. Some questions you can ask for making something beautiful are what do you see happening on this page? Tell me about it. Have you ever been to a block party? What happened there? What do you think Mira is feeling right now? Expect interruptions. Children love to share their ideas and feelings, so don't be surprised by their comments. Also remember that some children listen with their whole bodies and not just their ears, so expect some wiggling, bouncing, and giggling in the audience. When you finish reading, continue to hold the book. Model for children the satisfaction you feel after finishing a good story. You might say, that was a really great story. My favorite part was when... While still holding the book with the cover facing out for the children to see, ask the children what they thought of the book. Flip through the pages with the book facing out so children can see them and be reminded of the story. You can ask them to give you a thumbs up if they liked it. At the end of your reading time, remind the children. Remember, everyone gets to keep a copy of the book we read today to take home. You can add it to your bookshelf, and if you really like it, maybe you can do a read aloud of your own with your family. Happy reading, everyone, and we hope to see you all on Thursday, October 25th for Broward Reads for the Record.